Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to show you guys the brand new feature on the 4K HDMI and SDI, and that is Fast Switch. So right here, decoding is just an NDI source, and previously, if you would switch between NDI sources, it'll take a couple seconds for that new connection to reestablish. But now with Fast Switch, we can actually do that instantaneously. So let's go ahead and show you guys how this feature works. If I flip over to my web UI, you'll see that I am on the latest 6.1.349. And as long as you were on the 55.330, which was the NDI HX add-on, you will be able to just simply do a web UI update and get this up and running. So now if I go over to my AV setup, I will go to my decode sources. And right now I'm just doing a vMix output and I have fast switch turned off. So what I'll show you guys is I'll bring this in on the side. You can see I have my vMix source and previously if I would switch between another source and click apply, it would take a couple seconds for the new source to come in. So generally about three to four seconds and then the new source is now playing. But with fast switch, if I turn this on, and you'll see this little tip, as long as the NDI source is in the same format, so uh, high bandwidth NDI, NDI HX, um, having it H.264 or H.265, as long as those are the same, you can use this. If they're different, it might require you to do a device restart to get this back up and running. So make sure that whatever you're switching between is in the same format. So now I'll show you guys, if we go to a new output, it'll take one switch to get this feature to kick on. So this will take a couple seconds to switch over and then it'll play the video. Now fast switch is ready to go. So if I go to output two and I go to apply, you'll notice as soon as I click apply, it'll instantly switch over to the new video feed. So if I go back to output three and click apply, instant switch. So this shows you how fast the new feature allows you to switch between NDI sources, almost as if it was a live switcher. So we hope you guys can find this feature useful. Let's say click one more time. There we go. And just like that, it's super easy to use this new feature. So that's the basically the run through of that, but hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and can't wait to see how you guys use it in the field.